Hello, dear students. In today's class, I teach you very important C program, that is C program to reverse a string without using built-in functions. Okay, means it's a little bit uh, tedious job. This is not a tedious job; it is easy only. But most of the students they feel it is very difficult program. It is easy to reverse a string using built-in function. That one I teach you in the next class. But I teach you first difficult one so that you can feel that one as easier for you. But it is very important. In examination also you may get this question: C program to reverse a string without using built-in functions or function. What is this question? Very simple. See the output first. You'll come to know. Whenever we run a program, we get the message: Enter a string. Assume that the entered string is VTU. What is the reverse of VTU? UTV. Reverse of VTU is UTV. This program you need to develop. Run the same program for the second time. Second time the input given by me is computer. Reverse of computer is so and so. This program you have to write it. Then how to write this program? It is very easy. Just you need to add the header file, standard input and output header file. Provide main. This function will not return any value back to the operating system because this function, this program is called by operating system. We need two variables. One is a string variable. One more is a reverse variable. Both are string variables only. To reverse a string, n number of algorithms, n number of techniques are there. I am showing you one of the technique. You may write the same program in other way also. I hope you are listening to me. I hope you are following me. Okay, just I am showing showing you one way of solving it. Okay, no problem. I continue. We need two string variables. One is just here. One more is are you of maximum size? No problem at all. We need three more variables. One is i. One more is j. One more is length. You have to store zero must. First, you have to read a string. Assume that the entered string is vtu. Vt you will be stored in str. I hope you have understood. Okay, come back. Assume that the entered string is Vtu. Where the Vtu will be stored in str? See here. In the str variable, V is there at str of zero, str of one, str of two. Remaining will have the null value. Then how to reverse the string? First, you need to find the length of the entered string. You have to find the Length of entered string. Already I taught you in my last class how to find the length of a string. See here. First time i is zero. Then this loop repeats for how many times? Till we get the null value in str. Str of zero not equals to null. Yeah. Str of one not equals to null. Yeah. Str of two not equals to null. Yeah. Str of three not equals to null. No. Stop it. What is happening these many times? Length is incrementing by One every time. First time length is zero. Length is zero. Str of zero not equals to null. Yeah. Str of one not equals to null. Yeah. Str of two not equals to null. Yeah. Now Str of three not equals to null. No. What is length? Length has become three. Means we have calculated the length of the entered string. What is that? Vtu. Length equals to length minus one. Length minus one means three minus one. What is that? We store. Why we are subtracting one year? Any guesses? Okay, your answer is right. Because last character will be there in in which index two. You have to subtract it. No, that's for minus one. Because index starts from zero. Last character will be there in length minus one. Length is three. Three minus one. Two. That's why we are subtracting one. Length is how much now? Two. Now what I do? See the for loop here. Here in the for loop. Three parts we have: first part, second part, third part. Interesting thing you can see here. In the first part, two expressions are written: i equals to length, comma j equals to zero. This is the first part. Semicolon second part: i greater than or equals to zero. In the third part, i minus minus then j plus plus. I hope uh, you are following. You are listening to me. Oh, very good. And what happens? Do you know here? First time i equals to length. What is length? Two. Okay. Means i first time it will be length two. I am subtracting i every time. First time it is zero, zero minus one. Oh, sorry, 
2 minus 1, 1, 1 minus 1, 0. I am moving back to 1, 0. Then minus 1, we stop. But what I am doing with j, I am incrementing j value every time. First time j is 0, j plus plus. Means 1, 2, 3, like this it continues. Now see what happens. What is the length? i is how much now? 2. Reverse of j I am using here. I am using the j. Reverse of j. Means reverse of, what is that? What is the length? Reverse of 2. Reverse of 2 equals 2. Reverse of 2 equals 2. First character from the str. Reverse of 2 equals 2. First str of 0. Reverse of 3 equals to str of 0 means v. Yes, we copy. Next, j plus plus. j plus plus means, what happens? j plus plus. What is j value? What is j value? Sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry. Did mistake. First time j is 0. Reverse of 0 equals 2. Yeah, here. Reverse of 0 equals to str of i. What is the str of i? 2. Means in reverse of 0 equals to I have taken u. Yes. i minus minus. I minus minus means here it comes 1. J plus plus means it comes here. Means we take the t here. Yeah, we have taken the t. I hope you understood. Reverse of 1 equals to str of 1. No problem. Then what happens? J increments, I decrements. J comes here. I goes there. Okay. That means reverse of 2 equals to str of 0. That means we have taken the v here. What happened? We have reversed the string and we stored in. REV. Then you would store the null value by your own here. Already we are incrementing the j, no? j is already incremented. What is the j value? 3. Here we store the null value. What happened? We have reversed the string as well as we stored within the string variable named REV. I hope you understood the logic. Now reverse of percentage s is percentage s. That means reverse of VTU is UTV. Reverse of original string is available in STR. Reverse to string is available in REV. I hope you have understood the program. Very good and keep it up. This is very interesting uh, logic. I we are decrementing, J we are incrementing parallelly. This is what? It's very simple program. Just we read a string, we find the length of it, we subtract one from that, so that we can get the index for the last character. Last one we store in first, last but one, like that we reverse the string. At the end, we store the null value, we print it. It is very simple program. Just trace it on paper, you will understand it once again. Thank you. Have a nice day. Take care.